Hi, this is Ken from Origin Lab. In this video, we'll be learning how to use column values to customize plot attributes such as color, size, and shape in Origin 2016. Let's begin with the basics. Double click your graph to open the plot details window. Here we see the properties of our symbols, including sizes and colors defined by values of columns C and D. These modifiers can also be used on symbols and interior shapes. Now let's see an example. In this table, we see eight columns representing the ages, heights, and weights of a group of boys and girls. These columns have been added to a scatter plot with axes for height and weight. But suppose we additionally want to show age using symbol colors as our index rather than adding a z-axis. Let's double click on a graph to pull up the plot details window, and from there change the symbol color from black to by points indexing, and set the color index by column B, age. To change the palette used, go to the Color List tab and check Use Custom Increment List. Right-click on the list and select the color set you'd like in the Load Increment List option. Click Apply, and you can see the changes have been made to your graph. Now the color of each mark is determined by the age of the person in question. We've done this for the female chart, but let's apply this same format to the males as well. To do this, simply right-click on the chart and select Copy Format. Then in the other window, right-click and select Paste Format to All. Now if you want to update or add a legend to reflect these new colors, select our graphs and click on the Reconstruct Legend button in the Graph Toolbar. Let's open the Plot Details dialog to make sure that column F, the male age column, is being used to index colors. We want the corresponding age column to be used when copying our modified graphs format because by default, the match modifier is offset using columns of a relative distance from the plot data to define colors. Sometimes our modifier is in a fixed place on our worksheet. In this case, we want to change our symbology to reflect different species of flowers. Under Plot Details in the Symbol tab, check off the Custom Construction box, and for our shape, let's select Column A, Species. Then, in the Shape list, check the Use Custom Increment list box, and change the first object to a star shape. In this case, we'll set the match modifier to long name, and let's copy our format and paste it in our second graph. Here we see that symbol construction is still set to the species column. Modifier settings can also be saved in templates for future use. Here we have a set of data for food consumption of several European countries. If we want to categorize them by color, double click on the graph to pull up the plot details dialog and set our fill to by points and index it by column A, countries. Now that our graph has unique colors assigned to each country, let's save it as a template. Since we're categorizing our colors by each country, let's change our match modifier from offset to long name and give our template the name column by country. Now if we want to plot a different set of data for these countries, we can select the column in question and go to Plot, User Templates, Column by Country. And our bar graph will be generated with the same colors and arrangement as the previous one. If we open our Plot Details dialog, we can see that the color index is still set to country and our match modifier is long name. 